everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm starting with a voiceover because my SD card corrupted and deleted the intro. So let's hope this into the beginning of the end when we go for Euro 09. So after the announcement were made at the beginning of the week regarding the European Super League and then the clubs, the top six clubs made the U-turn and took themselves out of it, I thought I'm going to take this trip to go to Manchester to attend the Glazers Out protest at Old Trafford and do my part in trying to get them parasitic owners out of my club. I thought it'd be a good excuse to travel further afield and take a few more stadiums off list on challenge to cycle to and from all football league stadiums in country. I did arrive late though, so I only managed to get to Salford sort of City and end as well as Old Trafford obviously after the protest. So this video will mainly focus on the protest itself and I'll come back to cycle to the other Manchester stadiums at some other point in time. But apologies for lack of video intro, but stay tuned to what should hopefully be my best video or most interesting video today. Hashtag Blazers out and hashtag 50 plus 1 is coming. Let's go. I don't know how well you can hear me, but I'm outside of Old Trafford now. I've just passed Trinity Statue where the protest is going to take place. Um, I'm going to nip back round, I'm going to grab a green and gold scarf, um, and then I'm going to try to get to Salford and back um, in time for the protest at three o'clock. I've got back just under a, an hour, so I might end up being a bit late. But I'll catch you with you soon. change of plan. I'm outside ITV studios. I had a look, it would take me 35 minutes one way to get to Salford and then obviously I'd have to do the same on way back so I'd have missed a good half hour at protest or 15 minutes or whatever. So um, I've head, on, head over to the ITV studios, Coronation Street down there and then there's BBC and Media City over there. Um, I've got my green and gold scarf cost me a tenner which is a bit extortionate but at least it's not going into Glazer's pockets. Um, I'm going to head over there to see if there's out interest in at Media City and then I'm going to head over to the protest once it starts at three. Hopefully I'll be able to hit some other stadiums but if I don't I'll just keep this as a separate video and have um, and come back here again in future. So see you soon.
just leaving Old Trafford, I'm just leaving protest now. I'm going to head off to Salford City. Uh, it should take me about half hour to get there and half hour to get back, so it shouldn't take long. I might go to the Etihad, I might not, um, but yeah, a good turnout really for protests. Hopefully, I've got some decent footage. Um, and I'll check in with you when I get to Peninsula Stadium. Salford City, absolutely sweating with my scarf. Um, I've been here before on the long route that I did from Rochdale to Oldham to Man City to Man United and then finished up here at Salford City. Um, there's a game actually going on at the minute, Salford are beating Mansfield 2-0. That's Mansfield's bus up there if you can, if you can see it. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head round the other side of the stadium and then ride back to Old Trafford where my car's parked and then head off home just as well so you see this. That's the Salford City logo. I think it's one of the best logos in the Football League. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you probably at Old Trafford um, and then I'll be finishing the video there. <laughs> Spot this on the way in, but some good graffiti. I think it's like graffiti watch that I'm on. But yeah, I love it. It says not so great Britain down there, which again I'm not making a comment on. Again, I'll see you at Old Trafford. <laughs> There we go, finishing up at Old Trafford. I'm gonna head off to car now, it's only just out road, and then finish it up for today. But yeah, um, I thought I'd finish with this message on in there. This is the opportunity, probably the first opportunity we ever really meaningfully had to get rid of these Glazers and get his football club back, whether that's um, selling, um, whether that's us pressuring government to put in some legislation, that 50 plus one legislation, or whether it's um, any sort of change, but it needs to happen and time is now, so we need to keep it up. Protest next week, um, when Liverpool game's going on here, so again, urge people to, to jump out and, and join in with that protest. Um, and hopefully we can keep this pressure up, get some sort of fan ownership legislation in place, or something like that and end up getting these glazers out. 
Hi, I'm just checking in with you one more time. I realise that I've not explained to people who might not know what's going on um, today and what the reason for the protests were. So the protests were to get the Glazers out um, and it's come off the back of the announcement for the European Super League which happened at the beginning of this week. Now thankfully that's been postponed or has, has died because of the protests that um, football fans did across the country but it's important to keep that up because that European Super League idea is still in the heads of these owners. Um, these owners are Man United, these owners are other clubs and it's something that they'll not give up on. Now the protest today was also to get the Glazers out. The Glazers are the owners of Man United Football Club. They've owned the club for, for many years now and they've never invested a penny of their money into the club. All they've done is took money out of the club. Now what they did, they purchased the club using money they didn't have. They just took out loans and then put the debt onto Man United. And it's the fans, it's the players, it's the club who are suffering. Now. We need to keep up these protests because I think we've really got a chance now to change something, whether that's getting the owners out or whether that's introducing some fan ownership legislation or some legislation which protects football fans, which protects football. Um, you know, the thing, there's things that have been suggested such as 50 plus 1, either fan ownership or 50 plus 1 in the sense that fans would have to vote and agree and 51% of them would have to agree to ensure that any sort of big decision can be made and can be put into place. So, for example, if the European Super League idea were being pushed around again, that would have to go to a fan vote and fans would have to vote 50% in agreement with that for that to be passed. If not, it won't happen. That's the only way that we can ensure that our club, that football, that English football, that football as part of our culture can remain intact. So we need to keep up on this because this is the first time I've ever felt that we can actually change something. So again, protest when the Liverpool game is next week, protest wherever you are, whatever um, supporter, whatever club you support, get out there and, and do your bit because this is a fight not just to get the Glazers out, it's a fight for football.